Okay, and we're back. I uh, took a little break, and now I'm Finding going to go check right Sindri. And no, I couldn't find the snacks, Sindri. I couldn't find the snacks. The pot was empty. Bitch. <laughs> How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. <laughs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader from New Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. <laughs> well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? Oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned. He's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. Atreus. Okay, All right. <laughs> See you out there, Sindri. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, you stalking bastard! Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Good! Now... Release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Grassle goes, eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... <gasps> there! That should do it! See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! You toss! <laughs> Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Kiss you takes a joke, you old goat! <laughs> <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right. Here we go, now I can travel there and concentrate. Oh, Now I can go to all the realms. This should take you to the wetlands thing. outside Nidavellir city. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tower. You sure they'll know him at the tower? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks! Wait, what? I said good luck!
Here we go. The quest for tear. Oh, you feel that? that? Anything, everything. It's warm. Burb. I can probably use it. <gasps> get it free. Careful, uh, lad. Ah! <laughs> Smashing the guy's head. Why are these things so fast? When the head smashing. Rex, left line. Hello. Hey. What's your fight? Little shit, come here. Right I see we're already off to a lively stop. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. Gimme! You never asked mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. <laughs> I didn't mean to turn all the way around, but that works. Oh, hey, look at that. That worked out pretty well. Barrel. Tap. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. Smell what you know, it it's making my eyes bit more than when I last visited. Now that you mention it. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brasson, father of a few dwarves he may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Ta da! See that muscle? Did it. Easy. Y'all got me an apple. I think that's dirty. If you do an apple increase in ah, Good old dwarven craftsmanship. Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> right side, brother. 
be gone. Ooh, yeah. Behind you! Look out! <laughs> Find you, look out. Kind of annoying. And now they are no longer annoying. Can I get any more abilities? Yes, I can. Base chaos. Um. Ooh, Hyperion grapple. Yeah, give me that. Black musket. Anything for Atreus? Yes. When I get hit, he draws enemies from other enemies. Or draws the attention of enemies. Yes, he draws the enemies of other enemies. <laughs> so that makes sense. <clears throat> Open, motherfucker. How do you get that wheel turning? Where is it? <laughs> right okay, here. there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well, there! You don't mind some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? There. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? Aye, lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter in midgard it does but as you can see the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature observe the geysers observe the aforementioned aroma these effects were present before in some form but now there's new extremity to them huh. gotta lower that wall Water doesn't reach. No shit. Cool. It's not oh, just are rip them in half or like rip their chest open or 
punch them in the face a lot and then they disappear. No, he actually like cuts them in half, rips body parts off. It's awesome! I shouldn't have jumped down. Okay, we froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Yes, yeah, up there. See that right there? Moving in the gate coming down. That's more of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Kind of sounds like a trace wants the war. It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just. I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm. I know it was warm here. It's freezing. If we want to get to <sighs> Well, well. <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it draws. Damn right, I did it. I did it already. <laughs> I knew it. To Chain go down. Or go down. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. No. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. I uh, don't remember how to get there. All right. Here we go. Grim, perch them high! Knock them down! Oh, look at that. Camouflage. The pressure will turn the wheel. Damn it. Oh, missed. Too fast. Locked coming down. There we go. Nice one. Wait. I know. I know. I remember. I remember. That trip up here. Wonk. Yes, I can see everything from that block. That's one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? 
Hmm. Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, Charles. Look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the young brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. Yeah, they look kind of scared for some reason. An alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. There we go. Need. Need a Veller. Need a Veller. Hey, Need a Veller. Can we talk to you for. We don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Yeah, I'm just gonna find Sindri. They must really love you. Oh, Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. What I've got something for you. You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! <laughs> Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Uh. Whew! <sighs> there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. <laughs> say it. Say it. Do it. Say it! Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? Get rid of this lizard dude. There you go. Oh. There. He's gone. Okay, so, Sterling, Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It <laughs> should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Damn. So this I lockdown do right now. really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Let's upgrade all my armor if hey. I can. What happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. 
I will <laughs> not. Why are you just standing? Is it because I helped Atreus? Is this meant to scare me? Well, you should know. It's working. Alright. I know there's a thing back here, so I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Not that, but cool. So cool. Another of Cavassia's poems. Okay. Into the sewer. Maybe. It's up here. Chest. Punch it. Nice. Into the sewer. Follow the shit we go. Best of luck. <laughs> Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. Where this way. Do... This looks I promising. I think it's this way. Right? That's like a house. If he's here, maybe you ah, should yep. let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh. That's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Durlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Durlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. <laughs> I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. And yeah, we're gonna do it, because I... Gift it last time just so I could get a little further ahead in the story and shit, but now we're going to do it. Try it. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now <laughs> scamper off. Yep. Can I go destroy those three big rigs? Okay. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. 
Nope. First, gonna uh, go get those, those bloody big mining rigs. Things. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, <coughs> we're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. We got time. We got time. I'll go drop them. Checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. Nope, we're going. Shut up, boy. <laughs> so, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. We're gonna. Increase runic attack by two. Nice. Mimir. Are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Yeah, the compass thing's a little wonky. That's all right. Here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can shut it down. It's amazing. Oh, we're bringing down then. Or not. Gonna... Yeah, there we go. Behind you! Watch out! Huh? You little shit. Come here. <laughs> The rigs might make arm. shock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. Nice. Where's the last one? Agreed to the deal with Asgard. Why do they blame you? 
I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. <laughs> what you just picked up there is pure Spartalfime ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. <laughs> Sounds cool to me. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. Looks cool, but it's not as good as the... this armor that I was given, so... Don't think I'll be getting it. It only costs the ore? Not even hack silver? Well, that one costs hack silver. Eh, it can't hurt to have it, you know. Plus, huh. that one's better. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. All right, let's go this way. Wait, no, that one, that one over there. Sunshine. Oh, we got plenty of time. Every piece of rigs come to be. I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. Do you think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. <laughs> oh shit! Huh? Wait, what? Did I miss it? Yes, I did. The mirror. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And Enough. all the bad things? We will continue later. There's another oh, mining rig on this stories. island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Not quite right. I was only supposed to bring it down a little bit. I brought it down way too much. It's gotta be the right spot. spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. Oh, really? Come on. I was pressing the button, it was just like... Oh. Yay! Bomb! I like bombs! Huh? Where is that bird? It's very annoying. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to do 
that. Shoot. Over here? Maybe? There's a thing there that I can bust it, but... It's gonna be one of those things where it's obvious and I'm just being dumb. Down. I don't know. Ah, uh, there you are, you little shit. One less feathery spy. Oh, right here. Here we go. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Einher Yar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. The squasher? <sighs> Hello, those. Ah, oh, turtles. Sorry, turtle. So that's how I get there. Okay. I'm gonna head down there and grab that other thing real quick. Oh. Have to go down. Give it to me. Torch iron and a half silver. Very nice. Very very nice. Okay. So this thing needs to go up. Yeah. Go. That looks right. Yes, I try. Yes, it does. And I knew that because I was smart. I am smart. There we go. See, done. Done, did it, did it, done, kick. Wasn't so hard. Climb, boy. Oh, you 
okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. <laughs> Some of me are done fucked up. The dwarves survived because of you. Ah, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. Never mind. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. All right. Time to head over to that last one. But before we do it, I'm going to leave this video here. Where were we? Not now. Yeah, not now. I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, and we'll take out this last stack in the next episode. Think that still works? And then we'll continue on with the story. Probably go find Tyr. Right. Another smoke? That's it. There's another See you guys. Rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. 